There are several options to compute inverse probability of treatment weight. ATT weights and ATE weights and stabilized ATE weights. EZR performs stabilized ATE weights. ATT and ATE is a technical terminology in the causational analysis. ATT stands for the average treatment effect on the treated. This means when we want to assess uh, average treatment effect for the people who are treated, and uh, we estimate ATT. And ATE stands for the average treatment effect. The terminology weight in statistics tells how much weight should be allocated to each data point. And for example, if we want to allocate weight 2 uh, for one person, so that means we do not consider one person as one person, instead to consider two people. Okay, And the uh, concept is very easy. So when we have a balance like this, if we give, if we give this ball weight 2 and the balance get even. The purpose of conducting IPTW analysis is we want to make uh, background characteristics equal between the comparison groups and even balance and uh, we want to give more weight to each patient data so that the baseline characteristics could get balanced. So this is a formula to compute ATT weight. So for the people who are treated, get weight of 1. So that means data of treated patient will not be changed. And then uh, data for not treated will be considered of this weight. So let's consider this part. So for this part, we have total of 11 patient and 1 get treated. And so PS will be 1 over 11. So this will be 1 over 1 minus 1 over 11. So this will be 1 over 10. Okay. So we will give each of these observation weights of 1 over 10, 0 0.1. That means 10 times 0 0.1. So these 10 observations will shrink to just one observation. So this will be this one. Okay. So this 10 red dot become just one red dot. And do the same thing for this column. Okay, so for this column we have total of 11 and then 2 get treated. So this will be PS. And uh, we compute this part. This will be 2 over 11 times 1 over 1 minus 2 over 11. So this will be 2 11 times 9 okay and then this will get 2 over 9 and we will give this each of 9 red dot with weight of 2 over 9 and that become 2 okay so 9 become 2 all right and then do the same thing again so the next column we have two o 3 over 11. This will be a propensity score. So let's compute this weight. So this will be 3 over 11 times 1 over 1 minus. This will be 3 over 8. Okay? And so we will get each of these 8 dots to the weight of 3 over 8. So that means 8 becomes 3. Alright, so as you may notice already, and this red dot number would be equalized with uh, people who get treated and do the same thing. Alright, by giving this weight to each of untreated observations and uh, distribution with treated and non treated get balanced. Right, isn't it neat? So uh, the ATT weight seems better than the propensity score one by one matching because this method we can maintain entire distribution of the people who are treated. ATT weight seems better because for propensity score one by one matching we have lost these observation right here. Right? And I, although the ATT weighted samples 
it will preserve the entire treated population. So the next, let's consider ATE weight. For treated, AT weight will be 1 over propensity score. So for example, and let's look at this column. And we have 1 over 11. This will be propensity score. Okay. And so this will get weight of inverse of this will be uh, 1 over 1 over P S would be 11. So this one dot will get 11 weight. So we have total of 11 here, right here. So for untreated, weight will be 1 over 1 minus propensity score. So this is inverse of probability of not receiving treatment. So that means uh, 1 over 1 over 11 would be 11, 10, and then flip of that. So weight would be 11 over 10. So each of these 10 dot will get weight of 11 over 10. So that will become 10 balls that become 11, right? So this 11 in here. So now number of dots between treated and untreated get balanced. They do the same thing right here. So we have 2 over 11. This would be propensity score. So each of these two dots gets weights of 11 over 2. So that means these two dots become 11 is right here. Okay. And same thing for here. And uh, so each of these nine dot will get weights of nine over eleven. So that means this nine dot become eleven. If you may have already noticed, so this extra ball, extra dot would be the same as untreated data. So this will become green. And then also extra dots on untreated are from treated data. So these three will become here, will come here. The same thing. So uh, this four dots will get added here. And then this eight dot get added here. By doing this repeated, repeatedly, number of treated and untreated patient gets the same. Isn't it great? So, right, so this is what ATE weight does. And as you might have noticed, number of sample size. Sample size get doubled, right? And then we need to shrink this sample size back to the original size. So stabilize ATE weights. What it does is it has extra portions of this. So this is the formula for stabilized weight. So what the extra is this part, right? And the P would be number of treated over total sample size. That means number of uh, treated is 35. 35 over 93. So what this does is it just shrinks AT weighted sample down to the original sample size. So that's what the stabilized ATE weight does. Uh, and easier used stabilized ATE weight. So total sample size would be the similar to the original samples. And then distribution of treated and untreated would get the similar or be balanced. Here are the steps in analyzing data with IPTW. Step 1. Assess balance in characteristics between the groups.